hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel 9 e-commerce series so now guys in this video we are going to make the checkout mail option okay so when you check out and place the order at that time i want to send an invoice okay so now guys let's get started so guys just select one any of the product and add to your cart and then check out so we are on the checkout and here you see guys we have a basic information so guys we already have this phone number pin code and full address so we will autofill all this input fields okay so let me just show you if you go to your uh, user details if you have updated you will put that value here if you don't have then you are going to leave blank so in my case i have the value over here so i will update those details okay so guys now let's get started so first let's go to this checkout page on this form so let's move go to your routes guys web.php and search for checkout and now let's move to the checkout controller control e and search for your checkout controller guys done so this is a normal checkout controller and let's move to this path blade file done and here we see guys we have a live wire component okay blade and controller both so what we have to do first let's go to this blade file so here check out show let me just show you the form in this column md12 basic information and now guys let's go to our controller let me get back on the index blade here you see front end checkout checkout show so what you have to do go to live wire folder guys over here in the front end and we go to checkout inside that checkout checkout show perfect so now guys here you see at the render function we have this two variables which is full name and email which is shown in your form okay so that is nothing but model wire colon model inside this we have full name email so rest is phone pin code and address so what we'll do we will just copy and paste three times phone pin code and address okay so these are the input fields and here we are going to take the authenticated user user detail so which we have already created okay so let me just show you in that model if you go to model in user.php so we have created a relationship that we have on the user details so let's copy this relationship name now we can close it and paste here and again arrow and tell phone so same code guys you have to paste for other fields your pin code and address so let me type the address and the pin code so pin code spelling it's pin code and here you see guys pin code pin underscore code okay so there are two things pin underscore code done and now if you refresh we will be getting the output so i have logged in as user and which is on the user id so user id one details will be fetched over here perfect so guys you can see that all the details have been fetched if you want you can just edit the data also no issues new address okay and now let's place the order once you place the order i want to send the mail also so what we can do let's get back and when you place order so cod function so here is your cod order let me just show you this function name just copy this control f and search for that variable inside your checkout show so here you see guys a simple button let me just zoom it so here is your wire colon click on this click it goes to that function and on that function i want to send a mail so for that let's get back on the same function code and here you see guys we have calling the place order function and getting a variable so what is this variable returned let me just show you go to your place order function so here is the place order function and inside this you are seeing that we have written the variable order so that means your order create data so we are returning that so once we return that we are just calling this function and here we all have the data of orders so from this order i am going to find 
the order id so what we can do let's type the mail over here guys so first i am going to use a try catch statement catch function open and close and here use the exception done guys so here you'll be sending like something went wrong when the mail doesn't go okay something went wrong but we don't want to notify users so we are not going to do any redirection or flash message so we'll just keep a comment over here and here mail sent successfully so this is for our reference this comments and now guys first step we are going to create one variable called order equal to you. go search for your order model colon colon find or fail function where you search the order id so we are getting this place order function and inside this variable we have the order id so let's search here order id okay once done you are going to send a mail so let's mail to the email address and use a send function to send the mail so at this two you are going to send the email address so from this order table and type that email column and now guys here inside send function you have to send your data new place order mailable here you are sending this variable order let's copy this and send here perfect so now guys let's open our terminal and now guys let's create a mailer so php artisan make colon mail which is place order mailable let's paste here hit enter mail created successfully let's go and check for it guys so let's let me align everything arrange go to app mail here you'll find your place order mail dot php okay let's go there and inside this guide you have to create a public variable so let's create one variable called order done this is a public variable and this you are going to send inside the construct function dollar order and let's store this of order of dollar order okay you have got it and now you are going to blade file and send all that blade file data to your mail so as we have already seen that guys if you don't find that invoice order mailable please watch out the video link given in the description so let me just copy the same template what we are going to do let's copy it and paste here paste it everything is going to be same guys and let's change the subject guys over here you can just replace whatever text you want on the subject so now guys here you go to your admin invoice generate invoice right so here you have all the data whatever we have shown it let me just show you an example on my mail itself which we have done in previous videos let me show you here so guys you see that this is a template format how we are sending it so before this i am going to copy this complete invoice okay let's get back so this is the invoice so let us copy this and just go to your front end so inside front end we move to our users so inside users let's create a folder inside this like invoice so invoice user invoice okay so here now you can create a file you are going to mail the invoice right so let's tell mail invoice dot blade dot php done and now you can copy the same template let's control a and control c copy and paste here control v done so everything is going to be same code guys so now you can add one div here and then inside this thank you for your order and then again a simple p tag where you'll be telling thank you for purchasing with the website name so we already have set it everything like global app setting website name if you don't find just give your random website name like let me give fund of web it done thank you for purchasing with fund of web it all set and now guys i just wanted to make this in a center so let's add 
text center copy this and if you find in your css then it's fine okay if it's not there please add this and now let me close this generate invoice and go to your place order mailable and connect to that blade file so first instead of admin let's go to front end and go to your users table inside users invoice and inside invoice mail invoice template okay it's not linked let me just see the path so here you see it's a users not user let's paste here users cool it's reached guys and now done guys and now let's get back to our checkout show.php and make sure you're importing these classes okay so let me import this class import perfect class imported let me just show you Control f and search for it hit enter here you see cool so same way you have to import for the mail also guys i have already imported it for this mail and your orders also should be imported and now guys let's uh, copy this and paste this same code in your online place order okay paid online order okay so let's paste here that's it done and now guys let's continue back okay and now let's go to cash on delivery and place the order so yep let me click to place order order placed successfully and it's getting redirected okay order placed successfully your logo thank you for shopping with fund e-commerce done guys and now let's go to our mail and you should see that it's your order placed successfully thank you the subject has come over here and here is a message guys thank you for your order thank you for purchasing with fund icon your items and details are provided below perfect so everything is smooth done guys and just let's go there and search for my orders so here i go to my orders and you find that today's date perfect so here i have place the order okay so guys we have successfully seen that how to send the mail and fill other details on your checkout page so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share